I just received this email from Elementor saying that they have created a new product which is called Site Mailer. So I just wanted to dive deeper and see what, what it's all about. Let's discover it together. Uh, let's discover it together. <laughs> By the way, my name is Pascal and I'm the creator of WP Roads, the YouTube channel and the website where you where I share with you all the news, reviews and reviews and uh, in the future also interviews <laughs> all about WordPress. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired this morning. So let's go here. Get your WordPress emails delivered to the inbox. Okay, why do I need this kind of plugin? Okay, yeah, it is weird because from Elementor, I was expecting that they will improve their build, their just their page builder, but apparently no. They have a lot of other products that I'm not interested in right now. The most uh, interesting products of Elementor for me right now are the page builder and the Hello Theme. But the Hello Theme is not being developed that much, so the page builder plugin is my favorite product of their uh, their their business. And um, yeah, I feel that uh, it is kind of uh, slowly evolving. I don't know. What do you think about this? I would like to to see more features, more stuff coming inside the builder, and but apparently they are more focused now on creating new products. But anyway, site mailer. Let's go and see what this plugin is all about. With the site mailer plugin, achieve high email deliverability. So it's all about email deliverability for transactional emails. Okay, very specific. No integrations or SMTP plugin required. Okay, this is not so true because you you need to integrate this. Uh, with your own uh, email provider and domain provider. So this is not mentioned in their page here. I just, uh, uh, okay, anyway, here, I don't like when, when the presentation video of a plugin does not show the plugin at all. I mean, yeah, it can be, it can be fun, but uh, where is the actual plugin? <laughs> where is it? And I will show you, the actual plugin is here. I will show you, I have saved it. Yeah, I saved it here. No, it's not here. It's here. No, it's not here. No, it's here. <laughs> okay, it's here. And uh, this is the face of the actual plugin. Let me show the face of the plugin. No, it's not here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, as I was mentioning, um, it has been a long day. Oh, Elementor tutorial. Even if it's still morning, it has been a long day. <laughs> Which one is the one for me? Uh, this one is the one. Okay, perfect. So here I have installed the plugin, which we will see also together. It's under settings, site mailer. Okay. And this is the plugin. This is the screen. I mean, this is the actual screen of the plugin. Why in the video you, 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 you show dogs and socks <laughs> when the plugin is this one? This is the plugin. This is the real plugin. Okay. And um, so let's check what is all about down here. With site mailer, you... you yeah, deliverability, deliverability, uh, how, how, how do I pronounce this word? Deliverability. This is the focus keyword of this, um, uh, together with transactional. So, deliverability means that, sorry, I, I do not, uh, I can't pronounce it, means that you can um, deliver your emails, your WordPress emails to your customers. For example, when a user decides to update their password, that notification is a transactional email and you do not want that notification to finish in the spam folder. So this plugin comes in handy and it promises you that all the emails that are sent from your WordPress website to your users will be delivered correctly. And uh, so these are transactional emails, also the WooCommerce order confirmations and uh, all the emails that are connected to the technical stuff about your website, also the notification uh, confirmation about uh, a form submission and so on. All these kind of emails um, should be processed to a plugin like this one or similar to be sure that they will be delivered, okay, to you or to your clients, of course. So. Okay, here I have a, a kind of a preview of the plugin. Yeah, it is not really like this, yeah, a little bit yet, but it's uh, like this, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh, okay. At least I have a, a, a kind of a semi-real semi screenshot. Okay, how it works. Step one, install and activate the plugin. Send a test email, set up a custom domain. Mm. Here they should specify better that you need to upgrade, to update some DNS advanced settings in order to be able to set up a custom domain. It is not specified anywhere here on the page. Then down here, yes, 
Okay, okay. Oh yes, there were there are some features. You can send a test email. Okay, why? <laughs> Why do they need to specify it? Like it, it's obvious that I, you can test it out, and you can resend. Okay, this is an interesting functionality because you can basically resend emails that are have not been sent correctly or that are not being seen by your users. Okay, you can also trash and delete a notification. I don't know why, but is it is like this, and uh, you can also update here the data. Okay, delivered, opened. Okay, it also says if a mail has been opened or not. This is very interesting too. So you know that you, at least your users have received or not some important emails and the information is about their account, their orders and so on. This is good. This is a, go a good, uh, how do you say, log, log file. Okay, down here you have the pricing. Okay, why, when I was, when I was scrolling down, I, I saw this and I said, whoa, 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 it's, it's kind of expensive, yeah. And why do I need this? Why, why should I even think about buying this plugin I don't know anyway if you have some considerations you should write me down in the comment section below but we can start for free at least we have 200 emails that we can use as a test uh, to see how the plugin works and so on if we click here on start for free we we'll, we can just create uh, a subscription that will be a, a free one of course we do not need to provide any payment methods uh, and we can uh, basically purchase for free, okay, for zero euro. And then you can associate, a sub you can also create multiple subscriptions for different uh, domains, of course. And you can test it out on your website. You can download the zip folder, uh, the zip folder, <laughs> you can download the zip file of the plugin. And then you can go to your Elementor account and you will see that the subscription will be listed into your billing area under subscriptions. Okay, this is good to know. Billing area subscriptions, and here is my Elementor Site Mailer free trial active. If I go and manage this subscription, I can see all the details here. It is active. It is still not connected to a website, and I can just download the zip file of, of the plugin right from here. So when I go to my website, I go simply on plugins, add new, okay, as always, and I click on upload plugin, I choose the file and I use the site mailer stable. Okay, in my case, I already installed. And once you install it, you will see it in their settings, site mailer, okay. Here it is. And basically here you have the general settings tab, which is not so visible. So I will encourage the Elementor team to make it more visible because <laughs> I didn't saw it at the beginning. I didn't see it. And uh, now I click on uh, here and I can add a custom domain. Add a custom domain is the most important thing that you should do now because otherwise the users will see that all the emails from your website will come from this weird address and uh, you do not want this to happen of course so here okay here this this is the interesting stuff why do not put this into the into the landing page <laughs> i would encourage uh, elementor team to explain people that they need to update their dns domain and stuff like this and they need to wait 72 hours at least in the faq settings down here why not why just put it down here, at least there, because it is not specified anywhere how to, uh, I will handle this plugin settings. Uh, okay, let's do it. Here I can choose my domain, which is, which is this one, wpstarzy.com, and my email is info at wpstarzy.com. Next, log into your provider's website uh, and go to domain stub. Okay, in my case it is Hostinger, hostinger.com. Let's log in. Okay. Oh, the other day was not okay. Log in. Perfect. By the way, if you want to buy a plan on Hostinger, I love their their services and their hosting services. And I have also a coupon. I would leave you a coupon in the description below and my affiliate link. So thank you if you want to support this channel. Here I have my domain portfolio. This is my domain, WP Starzy. Let's go and manage it. Let's go and see, okay, I see that I have my DNS name servers and here into the DNS records, I will need to add some C names, C name. As you can see here, I've already added some C names and, uh, but since I have restarting this procedure, I will need to do it again. So, okay, I've logged in and found the domain settings. Next. So here is the most delicate part of the plugin. I got some data, which are basically three different record types that I need to add, C name, C name, and C name. And let's copy and paste them. Let's copy the first one. And of course I will need to delete the others. So let's delete the old ones. Okay. And uh, okay. 
That's all. C name. Yes. Oh, yes. There is one more here. Let's delete it. Okay. And I will add them. C name record. Okay. Tuck. The first one is this one. Target this one. Okay. Here, host and value names. Okay. This is weird because here they are using different, you see, different terms. Name and target. Okay. Let's hope that it will work. Let's add a few more of them. Just two here. The second one is this one. Let's copy and paste. And by the way, if you have any comments, uh, just drop me down a line down below. I'm trying to, to grow this channel by sharing uh, basic reviews like this one and uh, also news all about the WordPress uh, world. And uh, most of all, I'm, go I'm going to start also, also to um, interview WordPress people, interview interesting WordPress people to be uh, to help us uh, all us uh, be staying the uh, highly motivated in the WordPress ecosystem. Okay, okay, I have added the all the all the data that that would be okay. C name, I see here all my C names. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, they're all there. I just leave it breathe a little while because it says that it can take up seventy two hours to update everything, and then I click I have the update in my domain records. With, this value, with the values above. Three, two, one, let's go and test them out. Verify my domain, <laughs> finger crossed. Okay, yeah, verified. <gasps> oh, this is beautiful, I love this. Okay, the domain is verified, your default domain is replaced. Okay, so I would suggest you here not to click immediately on the button to verify the, the domain DNS because if you click immediately, sometimes it can just mess up everything. So just wait about five seconds, 10 seconds uh, after you have uh, updated your DNS, of course, here, and then click on verify. Beautiful, I love this. Look, look how beautiful it is. Design is very important, you see. This is good design. <laughs> okay, by the way, here you can change your sender name. You can change the reply to address of, uh, that the, your users will see when they hit the reply button to your transactional emails. And here there is a quick preview of how your users will see your emails. Okay, first of all, let's send a test email if uh, just to check if everything works correctly. Okay, send test. Okay, by the way, with this plugin, you cannot modify the template of the mail, which is which is, uh, how do you say, which is a pity, because I would love to be able to modify the template of my transactional emails, and why not put everything inside the same plugin? Okay, the, the email has been sent into the email logs. I see that uh, this is a test email, which is in the sending queue, perfect. This is the address which, uh, in which I'm receiving my test email, and this is the content of the email. Okay, okay, let's go and check it out. Okay, so this was the advertising. <laughs> okay, so this is the test email. I've opened it, perfect. I've read it and uh, I'm uh, ready to, to, to go back to my log. Here I'm in the log. As you can see here, it is not updating uh, in uh, real time, but we can force it by clicking on refresh data. Let's go, three, two, one, let's refresh data. Data was refreshed, wow, it was so fast, but it didn't uh, update correctly because I have already opened this mail and I've already received it. Let's reload the page. Let's refresh the data. Okay, it is not working. <laughs> anyway, this uh, is not up updating in real time, but uh, in a few seconds, you will see something like this, you see, delivered, and you will also see if a check mark if the email has been opened by the users. Uh, if by any chance you see that here in the status you get you get an error, for example, the email has not been sent, you can also resend the email. This is pretty basic. This is pretty, yeah, they can work and make it better. Of course, they can insert, for example, the ability to change the template to insert your logo in emails and a lot of other cool stuff. I hope that they will, they will do so. And uh, of course, if you want to use it professionally, you will need to pay. It's not it is not very cheap because you start from 60 euros per year. Of course, there is a discount for the first year, of course. Then you go to the second tier, uh, 144 the first year and then 180 per year. And then you go up to 300 euros per year if you need to send more than 10,000 emails per month. Okay, just for each single website. Mm. 
If your website is uh, an e-commerce or a professional blog or a, a website that needs forever <laughs> that all the notifications are delivered and perfectly, uh, in, mm, perfectly sent into the inbox and you also need a log like the one that you saw here, yes, this is a plugin that you can consider purchasing. But uh, keep in mind that you have also some alternatives, like for example, WP SMTP plugin, which is a, a very well-known plugin that a lot of you will might might know. Of course, this is a free uh, a plugin with a free version, and then there is also a pricing, of course. So let's uh, let's compare the pricing here for a few seconds. Uh, as you can see here, the pricing is way more affordable, but the renewal is very high. But if you if you compare them. Uh, this this plans are for single websites while in this plans you got multiple website look here 100 websites priority support a lot, a email login you see email tracking backup connections and so on you got a, a lot of more uh, um, options and integrations and of course here the interesting stuff in the elementor side is the fact that they they manage everything so you do not need to change a, a compl complicated setup uh, into the smtp point of view and so on but you just need to update the dns as i so show you in this video but at the same time you need to pay a lot while here you got the same service you can um, you can basically be sure that all your email notifications will be delivered and straight to the inbox of your users, but you got way more options. Maybe they are a little bit more complicated to set up, but once you, you set them up, you are done, you're okay. So I let you do your considerations. If you have any comments, please write me a line down in the comment section below. As I was mentioning to you, I, my name is Pascal and I'm trying to grow this channel and I want to know which kind of videos are good for you because uh, I'm creating, uh, now I, I love to provide um, insights on WordPress news. So everything is new in the field of WordPress. I will share it with you with my newsletter, which is, which by the way, you can find at wproads.com. And in this newsletter, I will share with you all the WordPress news once a week. The second thing I love to do is simple reviews like the one that you saw here, where I show you a plugin, how it works, and uh, uh, some comments about the structure of the plugin, uh, about what it does, the pricing, and uh, and stuff like this. I love doing plugin reviews because I, I use plugins myself uh, since 2013, and uh, I'm very passionate about the plugin ecosystem in WordPress. So, And uh, the last thing I love to do is to interview and uh, listen to stories of people working in the WordPress ecosystem and uh, to be inspired by them. So these are all the kind of stuff that I'm going to share later on during this uh, the, the next uh, months, years, I hope, in this uh, WP Roads YouTube channel. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe, hit me, hit me, no, hit me, hit the thumbs up button and uh, leave me a comment down below because I will appreciate it, I will read it, and I will also answer you if I can answer you with something interesting. So let me know what you think about this SiteMailer plugin and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Ciao, ciao!